Less than 30 days ago, this brand had zero followers and zero views. And now 30 days later, this brand has now amassed more than 800,000 views. Yes, that's only in the last 30 days. This is a clothing brand page called Rio Bravo and the brand owner behind its name is Justin. Justin and I started working on his brand from the startup startup phase and today on this viral video breakdown, I'm going to be showing you exactly what we did in order to get these kind of results for Justin and his clothing brand social media page. So the first thing that we did, again, this we worked on this from startup startup. The first thing we did was define his unique brand identity, right? Something that's really specific because in order to build a community, if that's what we're focusing on, we need to build a community. We need to know who we're building a community of. And so that's where you see this for Chicanos by Chicanos, right? Chicanos, if you don't know, are people who um, have Mexican blood. So their parents are Mexican, but they're born in the United States. That's a Chicano. And, and so Justin himself is a Chicano. And so we decided that we're going to make his brand Rio Bravo about uh, Chicanos and about you know showing Chicano content and so one of the ways we broke that down was entertainment content through memes right so I'm going to show you that there's one video in particular it has now got nearly 400,000 views exactly 392,000 views let's watch it together and then we're going to talk about it All right, there it is. It's a meme, everybody. Re revolutionary. You go like, man, this is a clothing brand posting this. We're going to get into why, but I'm going to break this down. So first, just to understand it, um, POV, when you buy horchata and it wasn't good at all. Horchata is like a, um, a rice milk based drink. It's quite popular in Mexico. I've never tried it. Um, I would love to. But, you know, you, the, what what is playing on is a relatability, right? Because... You know, the whole idea, like, just to be the guy that explains the joke, forgive me. The whole idea is that the the horchata wasn't good, and this is something that's quite relatable to, I'm, I'm sure, Chicanos, people that are in the United States, especially if, like, white people in the United States are making this traditionally Hispanic or Latin um, or, or Latin drink. And, you know, so it, it, it's, it's a relatable experience, I'm sure, for many Chicanos. And for that reason, this that's the main reason. It's the idea behind the reel that has made it blow up as much as it has. Um, and the other thing about it is that the topic of the video itself prompts people to create, to make a comment, right? Um, and the thing is with comments on Instagram, TikTok, social media, wherever you're posting your stuff, is that it boosts, like, the more engagement that's, that is being made, e even if it's negative comments, Instagram reads that as people want to see this because it's prompting people to be active and engage, and that's exactly what Instagram wants. So if you can create a piece of content that prompts people to comment, well, that's fantastic, and, and that, like, you should absolutely do that. Like, look at this. Now, I was so heartbroken when I got a quesadilla de asada for lunch, Tell me why they turn ground beef like I was feeling so tight. And I, so anyway, you, you get the point. Like people are commenting on this because of the topic. It prompts you. Like it's not like, hey, leave a comment. It's not like literal like that. But you watch this and it, you know, if you can relate with this, it prompts you to talk about it, you know. Um, like look at this. When it's chalky, sometimes it tastes like onions, right? Um, can't stand that. Like it's... The point is, is that the, um, it, if you focus on the negative with your videos, you'll get more of a response than a positive, right? So try and create videos with a negative angle or content with a negative angle because that, that rises up more of a response inside of your viewers than a positive one will. And so it's a really good way to go about it because like, you know, look at this. People are passionate about how much they hate um, a bad tasting um, horchata. Um so the, the other thing is, like, you'll notice that the brand Rio Bravo Clo is responding in in every single one of these comments. Hurts more than a breakup. Like, it's, 
this what what he's doing is he's like double or tripling the engagement simply because he just leaves a comment on every single um comment like he replies to every single comment and that's part of the reason why this has done so well he's boosting the engagement by telling instagram hey like instead of just you know 100 comments he's now got two 300 and what how many is it 400 400 comments like this is massive um and like one thing like you can do is if you want to take this a step further is ask them a question to create almost like a, um a forum like many many replies so if someone posts something and then you ask them a question what you're doing is, is they'll reply and then you reply back to them and they, now you have a conversation in the comments section and instead of just one person commenting you have hundreds and hundreds of people commenting and um yeah like that's amazing the other thing you should know visual hook and text hook so the text hook is here up the top um pov when you buy or each other and it wasn't good at all all right that's the text hook again i already mentioned the fact that it's relatable you also have a couple of visual hooks here like first the, the first visual hook is these broken hearts right these broken heart emojis and it's kind of simple but the reason why that works is because i don't even have to read the text to realize this is something that is, might break my heart so maybe i care about this because that, that's the stuff that you know, mo most love songs are about heartbreak more than they are about relationships going well. Why? Because we're interested in the negative side of things and that prompts more emotion than a positive. And so it, it piques our interest when we see the broken hearts. And the other thing is, the other visual hook is this man here. Like, we'll decide in the first two seconds whether we'll watch it. This man is telling us, it, it's kind of like, pre uh, it, it's a, it's a, it's preluding it's foreshadowing how we're going to react. Like we see his reaction and we go, well, we might react like that too, you know? And, and so now I'm wondering, what are we reacting to? Right. And so that like, that's, these are all very important things. Last thing, maybe it's the last thing, maybe it's not, is the song he's using. Like Amore Eterno. It's a trending song right now. Right. And, and the thing about trending audio, is not going to make your bad content work. However, it might make your good content do even better. So that's the that's one thing. Second thing is that Justin here with this audio is leveraging the audience of people of these this song as well. So people who listen to this, there's people who like the content just for the content, and then there's another group of people who like the music, right? And 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 Instagram sometimes categorizes and suggests content based on the music that's used and so if people like you know if, you, if your account has a tendency to like posts with this song on it they might recommend more posts of that kind amor eterno is is spanish for eternal love or you know forever love infinite love whatever it is um or eternal love is probably the best translation um and so like people like this is spanish music over the top of a a post targeted at Mexican or Spanish speakers, right? And so, like, you can see the connection here. Using music, if there is a particular song or band or something that's in line with your vision and message, then this is going to work really well. Finally, I should have got this to this at the beginning, but, like, what does this have to do with clothing? Well, absolutely nothing. But you cannot build an audience around clothing, sorry, around your product. You can, however, around your idea. And so if you, what all that Justin is doing is building this audience over time. And then eventually he's going to say, hey, by the way, here's a piece of clothing for Chicanos. And they're going, great. I'm a Chicano. I enjoy this content and I want to represent my Chicano culture through what I wear and the community that I've become a part of. And that is an absolutely valid strategy um, that, that really does work. And so like the truth is Justin would have never got this engagement posting about his product. I've never, I've really never seen a startup get this kind of engagement posting about the product. But like I said, over a hundred thousand views in just under thirty days from zero—that's nuts. And you don't see that, and you don't see that with your product. You can, and the thing is, like, the reason this works is because we started with choosing who the community is going to be about. All right, it's going to be about Chicanos. Now we know exactly what to post because what's valuable to them? Value, what's going to make them laugh? What's going to make them relate? What's going to educate them? What's whatever it is. So this is 
Rio Bravo, this is how Justin is creating viral content, and I hope you learn something from this. By the way, Justin is one of the members in my paid coaching program, but you don't even have to be in the paid po coaching program to get more value than this video right now. If you're not already part of this community, Streetwear 365, please join. There's a link in the description. It's 100% free, and I'm posting tips here about how to turn your social media audience into a community. It's for clothing brands just like you. And so please join. There's 46 passionate clothing brands. It's a super highly engaged community. So please come join us. Thanks for watching this viral video breakdown and I'll see you for another one.